Welcome to Show Scale Modeling. This is part 5 of AMT Star Wars Battle of Hoth action scene. Scale is 1 to 156 and it's from the, the scene is from the Empire Strikes Back movie. So in part 5 I'm going to be starting off working on one of the arts and snow speeders before turning my attention to the base. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. To start off with I'm going to be attaching the snow speeder to the art representing the scene where the R uh, uh, is tripped up with the tow cable. Now what I've got here is a, a copper tube um, that I got in a pack when I was looking for some piping. And it is, it's strong but it's pliable. So as you can see I'm just winding it around the leg so I, one, I know I've got enough and two, uh, I've already got the, the bend um, there before I paint. To paint it using Tamiya's X10 gun metal. Now this didn't work out too well because I didn't prime the actual copper um, tube. I, I should have primed it first so the paint didn't really take all that well with it. Turn my attention back to the base and I'm starting to paint in some of the detailing. In. So these pipes I'm painting in Revo Aquacolor 08 matte black. This is just the base colour to get the lines and, and the pipes highlighted. For the control boxes, I'm going down the route of Revo Aquacolor 39 Dark Green. I just wanted a different contrast colour from the, the black. This may not be necessarily the correct colour, but I think it works in contrast uh, offsetting the black of the pipes. So you can see there the two different colours start to blend in. I'm moving on to the hangar doors now, and I'm painting that in Revo Aquacolor 981 steel. They maybe should be a little bit darker in this, but I do like the 91 steel colour. Um, you know, again, it's um, builder's choice, I suppose, but um, this is the colour I quite like using. I'm using Tamiya's 6mm masking tape to mask off the docking bay area. I'm then going to give everything a base coat in that area of Revo Aquacolor 15 yellow. Now, the reason for that is I'm going to be painting in locating stripes. It's not really meant to be there, but um, I, I find it just looks a bit better. Think of a hangar deck on an aircraft carrier. This, this is what I'm thinking. For the bars around the shield generator, I'm using Revo Aquila 74 Gunship Grey. So it's quite a dark grey for these, but I just want them to stand out a, a little bit more. If you look at the movie, you have these bands on the shield generator, and they're a lot darker than the actual generator themselves. So it's back to the art, and I've repainted the tube in 08 matte black Revo Aquacolor. And now that's dry, I'm just attaching it to the legs. Now I'm using super glue here. It's not brilliant fixing it. It did pop off one or two times, but it was the only way I was able to get this uh, wire attached. It took a lot of patience, but eventually I did get it there. How I done it was I just anchored one piece on each leg, waited until that dried and then um, placed another anchor in, so just attached it in, in variance. And then I added some clamps just to hold it together. Attaching the snow speeders uh, in a similar vein, uh, I put uh, a little bit of super glue on the bottom there and put the, the um, brass tube on, then just held it on with a clamp to uh, keep it stable. Again, this was tricky. In reality, uh, retrospect, I should have flattened out the uh, edge of the tube so I had a, a wider base uh, to sit on. But as I done it, it popped off again, as you can see there, and back to trying to attach it. This took a one or two goes to get right. Um, but that's the nature of these things. Um, you know, you just have to keep on trying until you get it right. So it's back to the base and the docking bay, and I've got a lot of strips of masking tape here, and I'm just uh, laying them down on the paint, on the yellow paint, uh, before repainting the top of the surface. I then went over it with Revo Up Color 75 Stone Grey. Now it's back to the base, and I'm going to be adding some texture to it. So the, the base is getting a liberal coating of watered down PVA glue. I'm then taking the same ground down cat litter that I use for the shield generator and just sprinkling it over the base area. No specific pattern, just letting it fall naturally. 
And once I'm happy with the area, I'm just going to respray a bit of the glue and to anchor everything into place. The first thing I'm attaching is a Luke Skywars North Speeder and uh, I'm just uh, testing it for fit, see if I like where it goes. Then again, uh, another liberal uh, bit of PVA glue and I'm just going to place that in. And because the Snow Speeder is actually crash landed, I'm just building up um, the, the upturned earth or snow again using the um, cat lever so just sprinkling it around the sides to develop a trench and such i'm not forgetting to add a little mound at the front of the snow speeder so you can see the trail starting to build up now and once i'm happy with that i'll carry on adding textures to the base using the same method the paint has dried on the docking bay now so i'm just going to be lifting up the masking tape uh, to reveal the yellow stripes. Now I've done, not haven't done this in any Pacific pattern, just a, a sort of area to show you that this is a a working area where ships can possibly land. Uh, that's my old way of thinking. And now that's removed, I'm just going to be placing on the X spine and seeing how everything fits. Now I'm taking a, a standard tube of acrylic white paint you can buy in all artist shops or online and um, I'm using this to colour the um, cat litter so it's just a, a little dab on an old paintbrush and I'm just uh, stabbing it on the cat litter to uh, change the colour into the, the, the white snow scape. Now I fully intend for this uh, some of the brownish colour to peer through to give it more texture and look. So it's now time to place uh, things onto the diorama, but I'm not necessarily going to be putting everything on where the um, layout sheet shows you to put on. Um, I'm just going by feel once more. However, the art arts and that I will be putting in the suggested area because they already have preformed uh, areas for it to go into. The same as with the iron cannons and these tower cannons. They have their own little spot. Uh, they, they're going to go into but the soldiers and the snow speedos and things like that I'm, ju I'm just placing on how I think they should go and what I feel looks right one of the problems that I've found uh, placing these um, parts on is the um, the actual soldiers well troopers um, are, are that small they do tend to get lost in the base because they're painted predominantly in white uh, different shades of white of course um, from gloss to mats um, they do tend to get a bit lost so I'm trying to put them next to areas where they can have a little bit of contrast so that you can make them out things like the uh, scout walker or the ST walker um, was easy enough to find a spot for because the grey colouring of that will stand out in the background. I placed some of the rebel troopers inside the trench and uh, some of the um, ridged areas as well to give a feel of a defensive attacking line. I'll try and get the camera to zoom in a little bit more so maybe you can make them out but it's not brilliant. So next is placing on the arts. So um, the as I said, they, they have their own specific spots to go into. The little circular um, indentations stay on the mould. That's for the feet of the arts himself. The snow speeder you see attached to this one, I actually took it off in the end. Um, I thought it was starting to look a bit too crowded. So I took this that off and I'm going to replace it somewhere else on the actual base. And once those two are in place, I'll, I'm starting to place in snow tro troopers around the... Um, Arts themselves again, like the um, Alliance Rebel troopers, they're they're very small and they do tend to get lost in the diorama. And now for the last um, art to go on, this one with the snow speeder I will be keeping attached. Now I'm attaching some cotton wool for the smoke effects, and this is just a cotton wool ball um, spread out pulled off and placed on there and attached with a little bit of super glue. You, you can attach, use white glue or whatever glue you've got on hand, but I'm, I'm just using super glue here. I'm using Tamiya's Weather and Master Series B and the snow component and I'm just placing um, this over the uh, black, blacked out pipes 
uh, to give the illusion of snow drifts going over the um, the areas of the diorama. Now I'm going back to the uh -huh, and just adding a little bit of smoke to that with the cotton wool. In an effort to try and get these uh, figures to stand out a bit more, I'm just taking some random uh, paint colours. So this is um, a, a beige colour I'm using here. Uh, just to dot it around the crater, trying to make it um, more authentic. And the main colours I'm using is 89 beige with uh, a little bit of 16 sandy yellow and overall uh, O5 white. And O5 white is just to tone everything back down once it all goes on. Next I'm relocating the snow speeder that I take, took off the hat. Uh, so just using a little bit of super glue once more to attach it. And I'm just going to be putting it just above where the X wing is. No rhyme or reason, just that it fits there quite well. It's time to colour the cotton wool. So what I've got some acrylic paint here and um, I'm just making up a light and dark grey um, to do this. So I'm just adding whites and blacks until I get the desired colour. But the important part is, is, is the paint's got to be rather thin. So once this is made, made up, I'll add quite a lot of water to it to thin it down. And then I'll just simply apply it with a brush uh, to the cotton mill to uh, give over a, a smoke look. And this is bill end part five. And this is actually the uh, completion of the build. Uh, I've got a few little touch-ups to do here and there. But um, I'll do that off camera and um, the next video will be the final review. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds. If you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date not only with this build, but all my other builds as well of course. Hit that like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment and of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.